The Ayo Olorogun Adodo chanting in words that the initiated can identify with. It is just one of the various Ayo masquerades that are here at the Tafar Balewa Square. The tradition is clear and firm. The Ayo festival honors the passing away of an illustrious son of Lagos State, and that of 2009 is all for the late Theophilus Olabi Benson, a legal luminary, a politician, and a member of the royal family in Lagos. Bajir S. Benson was a great man. He's a great Nigerian, he's a great human being, he's a wonderful Lagosian, and I think that uh, he has set an example that many of us should follow, many of the young people should follow. He loved his country, he loved Africa, and he was a philanthropist to the core. He did everything possible he could to help other people. We have a lot of tourists here. In this entourage, we have about three people that have come in from the UK. And I mean, look at the crowd, it speaks for itself. If Chief Tuss Benson's family is grateful, the Lagos State Governor is appreciative of the contributions Tuss, as he is fondly called, has made to Lagos State. And others cannot help but point at the tourism potentials the festival. If you go to Brazil to celebrate the Rio Carnival, why won't Lagos, where most of those things actually had its rule, why won't we celebrate? Why won't we cannibalize, if you are permit, I mean, uh, my English, our own tradition, our culture too? This will be the first time the Ayo Festival will be taking place at the Tafar Balewa Square. It is always held at Idumata, also on the Lagos Island. The Lagos State Government is hoping that this innovation will be the first step in its grand plan to use the festival as a point of its efforts to boost tourism in the state. Yusuf Akuridi, Channels Television News.